All right, y'all. Today, I want to talk about kind of my dating history and where I got to the divorce separation situation that I am in today. So, I'm in my mid-30s now. Um, in high school, I had a girlfriend senior year, um, but freshman, sophomore, junior year, I just kind of uh, fumbled around. I was awkward. Um, didn't really know how to talk to girls. Didn't really know how to um, get a girlfriend. So I just kind of went to school, uh, played guitar, played sports, and uh, I worked at Culver's when I was like 15, 16, and there was a couple, you know, a couple of cute girls working at Culver's there with me. Um, one day I even arranged for my friend to drive me and this girl around as like kind of a date, but you know, uh, it was me and the girl in my friend's car. I wasn't really in charge because, you know, I wasn't behind the wheel. So, uh, it was kind of a failure, but this girl was like out of my league. She was like super hot and like I could have handled it way better, but you know, that's just a microcosm of my dating life until senior year of high school. Um, yeah, and then <laughs> I had this girlfriend uh, in like junior year. We dated for like four days. And uh, yeah, you know, I just I just didn't know what to fucking do. So, you know, just did my thing, got good grades, played sports, played guitar, uh, had a good had a good solid friend group uh, that I hung out with like pretty much every day. So. Fast forward senior year, uh, started hanging out with this girl who was like three years older than me, started hanging out with my friend group, and uh, started talking to her, you know, and uh, we kind of hit it off, and she eventually became my girlfriend, but it, we probably were like in the friend zone for like two or three months, <laughs> you know, I, you know, I was a freaking 17, 18 year old at that time, but I remember one day after, after work at Culver's, um, went over to her house and, uh, lost my virginity on a school night, which was pretty cool, um, yeah, she was 21, I was 18, and uh, so I got, you know, I got an older woman to kind of show me the ropes, which was nice. Um, eerily similar uh, situation as my uncle. You know, my uncle, he's a couple years older than my dad, but I remember him telling me how he lost his virginity at like Thanksgiving randomly one year. And he said that he was like 17 or 18 and he hooked up with like a 25 year old. Uh, so that was kind of funny to me. Uh, but yeah, my, my gap was much more uh, socially acceptable, I guess. And uh, you know, after that, I obviously became very attached to this woman. And uh, she was actually seeing like two other guys while she was seeing me, you know, just kind of like dating around. You know, I, I haven't made her my girlfriend yet, so I just kind of like found this out through like proxy. Um, so I was like, yeah, whatever. Uh, you know, I'm just gonna pursue her. And you know, it, it worked out. Uh, we became exclusive and she was my girlfriend for two years, something like that. It was pretty long. Um, but uh, yeah, she would she'd come over, pick me up in her in her car, and we'd go to her place and and uh, go on dates and do whatever, troll around, troll around town. So that kind of set me up for monogamy. Like I was in a pretty monogamous mode. So like after we broke up, 
she broke up with me because she was like depressed and going through a bunch of shit, you know, yada yada. Um, you know, that, I heard that for the first time when we broke up when I was like 20. But but I've, heard, I've gotten the depression breakup like several times since, you know, over the last 15 years. Um, so after that, I met another girl who was pretty much like my age, maybe like six months younger, I don't know, something like that. Uh, I was, at this time, like a junior in college, and she was, she was attractive, but she was a nutcase. She was crazy, certified, certified crazy, you know, uh, abused as a child, and, um, all kinds of red flags that I ignored because, you know, it was only my second girlfriend ever. Um, so she would, she would, uh, sleep over at my college apartment, um, on days where I had, like, some, like, one of my, like, light days where I only had, like, two classes or something. You know, she'd be over there, I'd go to class and come back and she'd be, like, napping on my couch or my bed. Like, that was kind of cool, but, um... I was with her for about two years as well, and turns out she was dating uh, like two other guys while supposed to be exclusive with me. So she was certified like cheating on me for probably several months uh, because you know she lived like 25 minutes away from my college apartment, and then she worked at a grocery store. So she was also dating a coworker at the grocery store who lived really close to her house. So like, you know, I never really ran into him or knew who he was and he didn't know about me either. Um, I, I found out because one day I got done with classes early. So, you know, I drove out, you know, I drove 25 minutes to go see her and like pick her up from work without telling her. Um, so I'm trying to be like, you know, spontaneous and romantic, and then, uh, I see her car, her car in the parking lot, so I just kind of, like, park next to it, and I'm waiting for her to, uh, end her shift and come out to her car, and that's when I see her come out of the grocery store with, uh, holding another guy's hand, like, walking towards her car, I'm like, what the hell? And so, like, I get out of my car, and I'm like, yo, uh, so what's up? <laughs> and, uh, she kind of just, like, hit her face, and kind of like some paparazzi shit or something. She, like, hit her face, and, and, uh, got into her car, and, and the guy kind of, like, his car was next to her car, so they both kind of, like, scurried off. So, you know, after that, I call her house, because she didn't have a her cell phone was off or something, I don't know. Call her, call her house, I'm like, yo, is, you know, home? And her mom was like, uh, yeah. Let me, uh, give the phone to her. And she refused to talk to me, so... I basically just sent her a text, you know, you know left her a voicemail, like, yo, it's over. Like, I ain't, you know... I ain't gonna be the one, you know, I ain't gonna be cheated on like that and you know it's over like have fun with that have fun with your co-worker and so you know thankfully it was pretty easy for me to get over her because I you know saw with my own eyes the bullshit so um after that I was single for a while and then I ended up hooking up with that same girl uh so, okay, she, she ends up getting engaged over the next couple of years to the grocery store guy, the coworker. They're engaged, and then I randomly run into her somewhere. I can't remember, but um, I had an apartment. I graduated college, and I had an apartment with, like, four dudes, and we were just batching it up, you know. I run into her and take her back to my apartment, and we, like... We bang it out, like we go crazy. And after the smoke clears, 
she's like, oh, my fiance's calling me. I'm like, uh, fiance? And she's like, yeah, I'm engaged to that guy. I'm like, holy fuck, like, you're engaged and, and you're here, like, stay the night. Like, this is fucked up. Like, okay, obviously you were cheating on me when we were together, so. Uh, yeah, she ended up having, like, two kids with that guy, so. Sorry, bro.